Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying the third technique for performing digital to analog transmission or conversion of uh, information. Now, this is the phase shift keying or the PSK technique in which we are basically modulating or changing the phase of the original carrier signal. Okay. So now, in this case, the phase of the carrier signal is changed depending upon the digital information that has to be transmitted. Now, both the peak amplitude and the frequency will remain constant. Only variation will be in terms of the phase. So again, phase shift keying, the first type is basically binary phase shift keying and this is the one that we have to study only. So, in binary phase shift keying, there will be two types of signal elements. One uh, signal element will be in phase and the other will be out of phase or which is also known as quadrature. Okay, The other will be out of phase. Generally, the first one, if it is represented by phase of 0 degree, the second phase is represented by 180 degrees okay so now as you can see here this is the signal that has been obtained after performing phase shift keying so this is one signal element which is following a phase of zero degrees right and once the signal element gets over the phase it is completely changed the phase now becomes 180 degree and the signal element gets uh, in the phase of 180 degree. So here the phase was 0 degree. Here the phase has become 180 degree. Then the phase will again become 0 degree because the information that we are transmitting is 0, 1, 0. Uh, then this will be 1 again and this will be 0. So, in this case, the phases will be alternating, but uh, if you have a, a stream of bit, bits in such a way that uh, continuous two, uh, zeros or continuous ones are occurring, then the, val the wave will change accordingly. So, for zero bit, we are representing the original carrier signal with the zero degree phase. For one, the phase is getting changed and it is now becoming 180 degrees. Then again for 0, the original phase. Then for 1, the uh, phase is getting 180 degree, changed to 180 degree and again 0 degree. So actually in this uh, representation, there is an extra part of the wave that should not have been there. So I have re uh, represented the correct wave here. So, this is phase 0 representing bit 0, then bit 1, then bit 0 and bit 1 here. Okay. Now, a uh, phase shift keying is very important because we have two main advantages for phase shift keying. Firstly, changing of phase is less affected or less susceptible by noise because noise can easily change the amplitude of a wave of the carrier signal but noise is uh, unable to change the phase of the original carrier signal when it is getting transmitted okay so in this case psk is better than ask that is phase shift keying is better than amplitude shift keying because amplitude shift keying gets easily affected by the noise that uh, if present during transmission. Also, uh, phase shift keying requires a single carrier frequency. So, this makes PSK better than FSK also. So, in this way, we can see that phase shift keying is better than both the two tech both techniques that we have seen previously, which are the amplitude shift keying and the phase shift keying, sorry, frequency shift keying. Now, in the last part of this lecture, we will be studying about quadrature amplitude modulation. Now, till now, we have seen that we were only varying a single characteristic of the carrier signal that had to be transmitted or the sine wave. A single characteristic, either the amplitude or the frequency or 
the phase but quadrature amplitude modulation means that two characteristics of the sine wave of the carrier signal are getting changed based on the digital data that we want to transmit what are the two characteristics first is the amplitude and the second is the phase so basically qua uh, quadrature amplitude modulation also known as quam is a combination of ask and psk now the two carrier waves that we use we are using two different carrier waves because each carrier wave contains a different amplitude also one of the carrier waves will be in phase and the other will be out of phase as compared to the previous one okay so this was all about quadrature amplitude modulation you have to remember that it is a combination of amplitude shift keying and phase shift keying which uses different phases and different amplitudes for each carrier wave okay so that's all for today's video thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam